Hello, welcome to today's mobility video. Today we're working on the spine. So coming down into all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, lightly gauging the core muscles, bring the belly button up towards the spine. We're gonna start with a hump. So trying to bring the bottom rib and get it to touch the pelvis. And then we come the other way, crown of the head to the ceiling, tailbone to the ceiling, belly button to the floor. Trying to create as much range as possible with each movement. So as the chin drops to the chest, the pelvis lifts up into the ribs. And as we go the other way, trying to squeeze out the spine, moving the discs as far as they'll go each way. From flexion into extension. You can work with the breath as you do this. So inhale as we hump and exhale as we dump. So we're mobilizing all parts of the spine here, the lumbar region in the lower back, the thoracic region in the upper back and the cervical region just underneath the neck or around the neck. So bringing it back into child's pose, notice how I open my knees a little bit more so I can lower down into the pose, reaching forward, stretching forward, feeling a nice stretch in the lat muscles, which are at the side of the back underneath where your bra strap sits. And then bringing my body forwards and hips towards the ground and the sensation that my hips are being pulled into the floor I look up and then look over my right shoulder into my back pocket and over my left shoulder into my back pocket just loosening up the, the neck a little bit looking up to the ceiling shoulders away from the ears core engaged and then flipping back into child's pose so knees wide feet together trying to get my bum to sit right on my heels, feeling a big stretch underneath my armpit. And bringing that body weight forwards, sinking the hips into the floor, shoulders away from the, here, the ears. We can engage the glutes here to support the lower back. And working in your own rhythm, from up dog into child's pose. Back and forth and holding for as long as feels good. So we're working the spine through flexion and extension here. Stretching out the muscles in the core the erector spinae muscles, the lat muscles. So back onto all fours, we're gonna do something called thread the needle. So my knees are underneath my hips. Take my right hand through my left hand, right, hand, right shoulder to the floor, and come back up and go the other way. So we've got some rotation through the spine here, shoulders away from the ears. We're going to go back into it for the original side. I'm going to take it one level up. So I'm going to lift my left hand towards the ceiling. So core has to engage because now it's harder to balance, but full body weight is now in this shoulder, giving it a nice stretch. Let's try that the other side. You may notice one side's a little bit more mobile, more flexible than the other, that's normal. That's the move position, coming into a prone position and we're laying on our back. Take one knee into the chest. Bringing the knee as far into the chest as it will go. Shoulders away from the ears, core lightly engaged. We can rock from side to side, loosening up the spine, 
whopping knees. We'll get a little bit of a hip stretch here as well. Bringing both knees into the chest, keeping the head on the floor. If it feels good to do a little rock here, feel free. Then we're gonna place the hands on the outside of the feet, but the arms on the inside of the knees and drawing the knees down into the floor. You'll feel a deep stretch in your lower back here and in your inner thighs, in the adductors. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Keep the breathing light and long. You can rock from side to side. And pulling into the stretch and releasing when it feels too much. Let's place one leg down to the floor. We're going to start an open book. So here I have my right knee on the floor. My left leg is long. I'm going to take my right hand, open up and let my eyes follow my right hand as it goes to try and touch the floor behind me. So we get full spinal rotation here. This is an excellent move. You feel a nice stretch in your right hip and also through the right chest as well. Loosening up the shoulders a bit as well. So after we've done six or seven, we can stay there, hold for 10 seconds. I'm gonna flip and go the other way. Swapping the knees in that top prone position. Arms out 90 degrees. Reach forwards, up and over. Eyes follow the left hand now. It's really important that we try and keep the left knee onto the floor so we can get the full stretch and as much movement as possible in the spine and that knee's not being dragged as we pull over and turn over. Move six or seven, hold for 10 seconds at the top. Breathing deep into it. finish come onto our sides lifting up and sitting in a cross-legged position we're going to work with lateral flexion so reaching up with our one hand nice and tall steady ourselves with the left hand reaching up and over feeling the stretch all the way up the side underneath the armpit we're going to swap sides at the top Stretching up the, the lat muscles, a little bit of the tricep as well. Lightly engaging the core to support your back and supporting your body weight with the hand that's on the floor. So it's important when moving sideways and not forwards or backwards. And then we're just gonna take full body forwards and down towards the floor, crown of the head towards the floor, breathing deep and just let everything loose, let everything go. Sinking into the floor. Taking a deep breath, coming up, rot curling the spine as we lift. And there we go, 10 minute spine mobility drill. Hope you enjoyed.